Welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben. I'm going to be reviewing Dead End, a new Netflix original Polish series. It's Christmas month and because it's Christmas month, I've put a few baubles up and we're going to this year be opening a pop Christmas, a pop minifigure idol advent calendar with you every day. I'm doing a review every day so you'll get to see until Christmas. So let's open number one. Oh, it's in a little baggie. That's pretty cool. See that empty slot number one. Who is it? Okay, here we go. Okay, this is really cute. Um, R2D2 with reindeer. I'll put it next to my face. That's probably the clearest you can be. And maybe I'll zoom up in the edit. But yeah, R2D2 R2D2 with a, a reindeer horn. So it's like Rudolph D2. All right, that's great. Let's jump into the review. A group of strangers accidentally drove off in a car with two million zolts coming from a bank heist. Okay, so we have six episodes, 30 minutes piece, easy binge. I didn't really like it when I first started, especially the father and daughter dynamic, their relationship, the daughter I found really annoying. It wasn't until the halfway, like episode three, that I start understanding her plight as to why she's reacting the way she is. And then when we get to the end, it kind of reverses itself and I'm like, hmm, so I didn't actually like that character all the way through. I found like she was the most annoying broken character. But that's not to say all the other characters aren't broken because every single damned character in this series is broken. Like we are all broken people. I know that. We, we're a work in progress. And hopefully by the end of our lifespan, once we get there, we would have reached a better level of understanding of who we wanted to be in our life and some sort of happiness and whatever you believe when you die you will go to that place or just stay in the ground if that's what you believe this show takes a bunch of people that are i guess experiencing some of their worst moments one is going through a breakup a family really broken up together a daughter is stealing a father's an alcoholic we have the guy who owes, owns, owes someone a lot of money. We have a prostitute. And what this show does is it gets all our characters basically in a car together with somebody chasing them because of this heist that goes wrong. It's all kind of slapstick, sort of Ocean's Eleven, sort of slapstick comedy, but in a Polish way. Then it goes backwards and shows us how each of those characters got to where they are. It does, in actual fact, give us a lot of background as to the characters and how we got to the places that we are currently in. And it's just like slapstick sort of comedy drama as to how messed up your decisions will make your life. And they make bad decision from bad decision and end up in a place that will obviously come to a crescendo at the end and something will have to give in a violent reaction and it does so by the time i got to the end i did end up enjoying this series because of this little snap i guess bite-sized episodes the 30 minutes a piece and i think that works for it had they been any longer i would have switched off for sure but because it's quite concise it gets to the point a little bit quite quickly and then the end of each episode so, so sort of cliffhanger that makes you want to click on to the next episode then you're kind of invested in a little more so you have the beginning intro that gets like oh this is what this episode is going to be and kind of gripping you that that hook to get you wanting to find out what's going to happen next and then you have that overarching arc about whether any of these characters are going to survive because when there's this much money in play you know things are going to go wrong i think the acting is fine I think with the dialogue they're given, it works fairly well. I think the cinematography at times is quite creative, but nothing to write home about and going, look at this, it's amazing cinematography. It's just, it's fine. Uh, I think where it works is the piecing together of the puzzle piece of the storyline. Had that not been the, th the case, like if it didn't come together at the end and the story didn't reveal itself properly, then I think I would have just been pissed. It's a fairly decent ending. I was fairly satisfied with what happened. It, it, it worked out like it, you would expect it to be in a sort of realistic way. It's definitely a fun time, one time watch. That's going to be my new slogan. Fun time, one time watch. However, I wouldn't go back to it again. I don't really want to see more from these characters. So if in a couple of years, there's suddenly a sequel to this series. 
I don't know how they could do that or why they would do that unless they somehow find themselves in a quirky, mischievous bank robbery gone wrong once again and they have to try and survive that or they decide who gets the money, blah, blah, blah. You've seen the story and plot before. And that's the thing. It doesn't do anything new. But what movie or TV series can do anything new? We've had everything under the sun and variations of that over the moon. I'm tired of saying under the sun, so I'm going to say over the moon. It is fun. It's quirky. There's some fun moments in it. I like one particular character and there is character growths, but there are a lot of the characters that you dislike as people and you're wondering why they're making those decisions. So when you get to the end, you are satisfied with it. I'm going to give this three Nicolas Cages out of five. <laughs> and you've got one. Almost teetering on a 3.5, but I just don't think it's quite that good. But it's definitely better than Midway. So let me know what you thought about this. Did you actually really enjoy this series? Maybe you loved it. I'm going to put this on my set behind me. So every day, don't forget, you will see a new review from me. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out our cornucopia of new content. Our podcast that I do with Movies and Munchies called The Best Thing We Watch is doing really well at the moment. So thank you for joining us on there. Weekly, we have the video version and then exclusive content on the podcast version. Uh, we do extra reviews on the podcast as well in the video. And then we have our Patreon, kind of an offshoot from that, that people have started joining. And I really appreciate you guys there. And so we've started to put some, not that we didn't, but we're really putting a lot of effort into content that you guys will really feel rewarded with in the patreon and the podcast so if you haven't joined us yet please check that out the patreon has various tiers from little bits of money to you can ask us to do skits anything in between there i think uh, if you want to support us that way it helps us to produce better content between me and movies and munchies and our weekly turning this from a general hobby to something that is professional. Thanks so much. Most of all, until next time, remember, live long and Tuesday.